welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex. Today we were at Brendan Theaters watching The Current War. This movie has had some kind of a tumultuous production cycle. It's a script that kind of floated around Hollywood for a little while, and then there were trailers and stuff that were released, I want to say, over a solid year ago. And this movie has kind of been floating around since then. They've been retooling and reworking and reshooting things in order to kind of bring a final finished product that was good enough to bring in front of an audience. It's tough to say exactly what things were part of that rewriting and that reshooting schedule and what things were part of the original concept. But there are some weird issues with some of the story, but overall, I felt like it brought a really interesting idea and some probably lesser known concepts about some of these characters who actually existed in real life to audiences. There's all these discussions about who stole this idea from who and who did what, and it's hard to pick through considering you, you're taught one thing in high school and then you're taught another thing if you go uh, further in your learning journey. And it's really difficult to kind of cycle through all those things and figure out what's real and what's not. And while I don't know if this is all factually accurate or if they went through and they, you know, they picked out things that they wanted and then created a story and a narrative around it, that's not something I really have a problem with. Like I said, as far as the actual creation of the narrative and the overarching story that ties these three particular characters together, I felt like that was really well done. I felt like some of the side ventures that some of these characters went on with some of their own little groups and stuff, I felt like some of those may have been a little misguided. And uh, discussing this with, with Nick after after we sat down and watched the movie, some of those things were apparently very jarring for him. And, I, and like I said, I don't know if I felt that strongly about it, but it was something where I did notice those things and they do create a weird tone shift in places where it's not necessary. Moving on to some of the positives, the acting performances were very, very good. I felt like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Michael Shannon were very, very good. And the dialogue that they had with some of their other characters and dialogue they had amongst each other, I felt like those those things were some of the most exciting moments of the story. And that's, that's saying something. You know, in a, in a movie, most of the time when you say something about something being exciting, you typically are thinking about like an action scene, you know, in, in the today's society when, when most action movies are comic book movies. It, it's something where those exciting moments are usually something crazy happened. But when you can find something where the dialogue and the discussions are where the excitement points come from, you're looking at something that's a different beast in today's world. It's kind of a throwback to the yesteryear of filmmaking when dramas were king. And I really enjoyed those things. I also felt like Nick Nicholas Holt did a really good job of playing Tesla. I do think that there are some things that could have been reworked about that character to make it more of a prominent feature, but it definitely was more of a supporting role and it worked in the places that it was in. I felt like the cinematography was very excellent. I felt like they did a lot of things with light, huh? And uh, it really created some really cool set pieces and things that had really good color palettes and they did a lot of interesting camera work. Some of them were things that I could have done without. They used a lot of Dutch angles in this movie and, and if you've watched any of my reviews, you know how I feel about Dutch angles. I think that some of the other camera tricks and the other things that they did were were really well placed and it. it gave the right emphasis to those discussion points and the things that they were discussing and looking at patents and looking at different inventions has never been so exciting in a film for me. I felt like the score did a really good job of describing emotions in ways that aren't super ham-fisted and don't you know hit you over the head with a hammer most of the time. It keeps things really subtle but it also is a great way to have kind of that lens into how the character is feeling in those moments and I think that they did a really great job of making that blend really well with the storytelling. And as far as actually painting that portrait, you know, making the story work, I think that they did a really good job and that they could have had more pitfalls that were there that we didn't see because those are things that hit the cutting room floor or those were things that were moved away in those reshoots or moved away in those rewrites on the script. Like I said, these discussions that they're having are things that are potentially important today and it has little Easter eggs to, you know, to current life, companies changing names and things becoming different different things and I think that without jumping into spoiler territory I feel like you're gonna catch up on a lot of things from watching this film that you may not have realized. And I thought that, that was super cool. You know, as much as I'd like to say that I am an expert in this territory, I would say that I'm probably not. You know, I've learned about some of these people in school, but I mean, other than that, it's not something that I've studied on. The cool thing that this movie does is that it makes you want to. 
It makes you want to sit down and actually learn what these people were like in reality and who actually pilfered things from who and who actually teamed up with who to make their idea work. And I think that that's something that's really exciting. It's a film that makes you want to learn more. That's not something you can say about every film that's ever been released. You know, that's something you can only say about a select few things. And I really dug that feeling. Overall, I'm gonna say this movie is an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, it's not quite to that nine territory, but I feel like they did some really cool things that were just hampered a little bit by some mistakes, I would say. It's not something where it completely removes you or takes away your immersion, but it is something that you notice. But I'm glad that the movie didn't suffer wholly because of it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We give you multiple videos every single week. And we have t-shirts available if you're interested in those as well. Those are available down in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.